When I was a kid, like one week I had like a pair of roller blades and I was roller skating in a, in a half pipe, and the next week I'd have a BMX, and the next week I was doing karate. I was, I remember just always jumping between different disciplines. Um, so yeah, I suppose I'm, sim I'm I'm more focused now, but I think with social media and just the fact that we've got the smartphone, yeah. it's very rare that I stop and don't and just think. Do you know what I mean? Like because I've always. Even when I'm on the train or on a bus, where you know you used to just listen to music and like zone out, now you've got the phone and the internet and the news, and so it's difficult to just be mindful. And I'm, I've tried doing meditation, but I do struggle with it because I'm I actually like being busy. That's the thing. I mean, I like I like getting things done. And I said to my my, my friend Bev that I'm um, I'm mindful that I'm just not mindful. Oh, but I find sometimes that that's exactly right. You go, you think you're being, you think you're doing something very productive in terms of the business on Instagram. 45 minutes later, you've gone down a rabbit hole and you're watching someone's dog sing a song or something. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? But how, how often um, do you find that? Happens? All the time. Like, yeah, on YouTube, you go on a YouTube journey, end up somewhere. But I'm, um, I'm kind of, yeah, I do have days where I can just leave the phone or I'll go away for a weekend and I'll leave my phone in the car. And Will just you? Want, yeah, it's nice. I do do that now and again. When was the last time you did that? I did that. I went to, um, I went to Soho Farmhouse and I left my car in the car park and didn't see my phone for two days. And that was like media blackout you know what I mean like it felt nice though to have a little break what was it did, was it hard at first cold turkey no I'm, no not really like the community kind of talks to itself now but um, I went on holiday I tried the headspace thing I did that yeah. for a little while because when I leave my phone off I, I do find it an adjustment first hour or two you're like I just want to oh yeah I haven't got it it depends yeah it depends what I mean I'm so used to getting like the constant tweets and Instagram and there's so much dialogue to be had but mm. there are times when I've got like look you've worked really hard this week just have a night off go to cinema watch a film yeah I really love eating healthy food and with the exercise it's what I love it's a part of my day I don't have like a massive health and fitness goal but um, I try and set you know targets of you know being I don't know being more present or spending more time with a friend, friends or family but I think with people when they make news resolutions they're like right I'm going to go and join a gym hundred quid a month and I'm not going to go out with my friends and drink I'm not going to eat any carbs I'm going to do a low calorie diet they try and change too much at once and it never works is it? it's not sustainable so I, I'm like if you're going to set goals at least make them kind of more realistic and don't put yourself under too much pressure um, I believe very much in like doing home workouts you know 15 minutes a day in my opinion is more effective than one hour a week do you ever got, write stuff goals down or anything like that I did once so I did this mad thing where I wrote down what I wanted in five years and it's weird, you know that the secret and all that opened up in a few years' time. I literally had done everything I'd written down. What would you like in five uh, years? Well, I'd like a family, and I'd like to 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 have a real. You know how like Jamie will have done the school thing with dinners. I, I really do believe that there's an important issue with the kids and the fitness and the diabetes and the obesity. So I want to mm. be known as someone that made a big impact, like on the schools and the and the kids in the UK and the fitness and stuff. So okay, so we got family, we got um, changing school. Yeah, I want to be like known attitudes. for like not just an entrepreneur that made a few quid selling books and that like someone who really made yeah. a behavioural change and like what changed a, what policy. And what other goals? Stuff. Not necessarily work goals, but other goals: family, other relationships, goals, family. Well, yeah, I mean, I money, wanna... lifestyle, housing. I mean, I've got a lovely house, which I'm really, really happy in. So I'm not, I'm not someone who's obsessed with like having properties all over the world, and I'm not obsessed with, I'm not that driven by money. Like that's that's been a nice. You know, it's a nice perk of being successful, but because I started out literally just on social media having a bit of fun, I didn't realise you could monetise it. I didn't realise I'd ever get a book deal. So those things came secondary. But um, if you're only motivated by money, you know, I don't think you should chase money.